it sure seems like our next guest knows more about everything than just about everyone. Please welcome the one and only Martha Stewart. Well, you look fabulous. It's so nice to be here. It's so nice to have you here. Uh, I love being in California, too. I know. Well, it's so freezing where you are right now. You're rarely here, so thanks for being here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We've had uh, fun over the years. Many, many, uh, you've been here many times. And right before lockdown, you and Snoop, uh, guest hosted the show. We did you did. have fun? Oh, we had the best time. Y'all were the great. The best time. And um, and uh, I was with uh, Snoop yesterday. We're, we're doing Puppy Bowl again. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, and it'll be shown on uh, February 13th. I love Puppy Bowl. <gasps> so exciting. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not doing the halftime with him. No. Are you doing the halftime? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to be there. I'm going to watch. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Are you rooting for anybody? Who do you want to be in there? Do you care? I don't care? even know who's playing. Oh, well, nobody knows yet. <laughs> so, yeah. so then uh, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. No, not yet. We don't. Hey, uh, Martha and I met 30 years ago. It's amazing to say that. I, Thir I, still, I still shudder when I think of me doing that show. You're, I did Ellen's sitcom. It was so scary. Why? Well, because you're, you know, you're a tough act, and and um, and to fought, to get on the stage with you and everybody, your director and everybody, say, learn your lines, Martha, learn your lines. You, you don't remember that? Do no, you? of course oh, not. They were, I, I was just stumbling over my lines like a, a little idiot, and um, and then when I got out and had to do it, we just did it flawlessly. Yeah. And so then they liked me again. They hated me up until the time we actually... in the rehearsals. Oh yeah. No, I didn't know that. I, oh. I had so much fun with you. I had no idea there was drama going on. Oh, drama all day long. It was great. It was <laughs> Martha was great on the show, and we ended up eating pizza, which I bet you you eat pizza now, don't you? Rarely, but I like it. I yeah. like pizza if it's if it's really good. Do you cook for yourself every night? Uh, I cook when I have no place to go. I cook when I just want something simple, and uh, and it's uh, and during COVID, oh gosh, we've yeah. been cooking a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I would imagine because you can just make everything and just whip something up with yeah. nothing. Yeah, I, I make that. I make really good simple suppers. Yeah, I have I grow all my own vegetables. Yep. Even now in the winter time, so we have a heated greenhouse that we grow in, and it's so much fun to pick things. And eat really fresh stuff. Yeah, of course. I have That's... chickens. Yes, I get you do. All my... You have a lot of things. You have chickens. You have peacocks. Oh yeah, I, I hear you get into peacocks. Do you have some? No, I don't have any peacocks. Do you want but... some babies? I'll, I'll hatch you some. Um, <laughs> a going away present for your show. Wow. You, you know. No one has ever said I'll hatch you some peacocks. <laughs> uh, I've never heard that before. And uh, mine are beautiful peacocks. They're gorgeous. Now, are they tameish? Yes, they are. They they come up to my back door every day. We we've started a new. I have dogs, so dogs and peacocks do not coexist. No. And so my dogs have the mornings to be free on the property, and in the afternoon the peacocks are free to have the property, and the dogs have to be kept in a yard. The peacocks are actually really good uh, watchbirds. They they will kill snakes. They will uh, they keep things away. They're not destructive. They're not. They're really not destructive. Right. And they are so beautiful, and they do want to eat out of your hand. They do want to come in the kitchen and have cappuccino and croissant. That's what they really. <laughs> Just like the donkeys, I have donkeys too, and the donkeys just want to do that all the time. They just want to, they just want to come in the house. Your life is fantastic. You have a fabulous life. Hey, you have a new website. It's called Martha.com, and yes. I want everybody to know about it. Yes, and on, on Martha.com we sell things that I design, uh, things that I curate, and things that we discover all over the world. And it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a, a very nice, and all the recipes you can get recipes on the on our site. Uh, you can uh, learn a lot on Martha.com. And uh, so that's what we've been doing. We've been very busy. That's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you can learn a lot. I mean, just sitting with her for five minutes, you learn how to... When you were on before, you taught us how to make all kinds of things. Not that I retain it, but, but you did teach us how to make things. So uh, you're selling... We're talking about Martha.com, where you can buy things you've designed and you can get recipes. One of the things that's for sale on there that you've designed is a nativity scene that you made when you were in prison. Um, and it is made out of what? How did you Well, make there these? was a ceramic studio at this lovely place in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I call it camp. And, um, and, I, uh, and I spent my evenings, every single evening, creating this fantastic crash, uh, all the nativity scene. Uh, 14 pieces, camels and donkeys and 
Jesus and Mary and Joseph and then wise men. And uh, so we did a facsimile of my set, which I was allowed to send out of, to, back home. Uh -huh. And I still have all the original pieces. And uh, I did a facsimile of it and we were selling it on Martha.com. And that was the best, second best selling item on our website this Christmas. Wow, look how that yeah. worked out. So that was nice. Yeah. yeah. So if you're looking for a ceramics class to go to, uh, everybody. <laughs> no, no, I called. I wanted the molds because I, I like for history, you know. Uh -huh. And they had thrown away all the molds. They had a, a whole warehouse of a beautiful mold. Oh, no. And uh, they're all gone. Oh, that's so a shame. No more, no more ceramics class. Oh, that's a bummer. Yep. All right. Well, there shouldn't be any prison. Well. Period. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you, I said you look fantastic. You are not slowing down. We're talking about Martha.com. We're talking about everything you're doing. You just turned 80, and you're opening a restaurant. And, I mean, it's opening in Vegas, right? Oh, yes. Oh, the Bedford. It's, I can't wait. This is, I, you know, I've always wanted to do a restaurant, but I've just never had the time. Now, I, I still don't have the time, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and uh, at Caesars um, at the Paris, mm -hmm. we're doing a beautiful 190-seat restaurant. Uh, it's right across the hall from Nobu. So oh, he's, wow. And he's my friend, and I can't wait. I think, I think if you don't want Japanese food that night, you'll come to Martha, and vice versa, of course. That's so, um, but the food is um, it's designed to be um, delicious, not, not farm to table exactly, but inspired by my recipes over the years, and, uh, and very nice, very nice uh, service. My wine, my own wine, Martha Chard is gonna be featured. And um, Chard, we don't call it Chardonnay any longer. <laughs> we call it Chard. No, and, uh, don't call it Chardonnay, people. Oh no, that's old fashioned, you know. Chard. <laughs> And so we're going to, I, it's, it opens this spring, and I'm very excited about it. I can't wait. And do you gamble? Will you gamble when oh, you're oh, there? Oh, yeah, I love uh, blackjack. Yeah. I love. We'll play together. Okay. I'll go, and we'll go to your you're, restaurant. You're a poker player, right? I like poker, but I'm I also like your, I'm not up to you in poker yet, but, That's all right. but I'm, I'm practicing. All right. Well, let's play blackjack together when we go to your restaurant. Okay. All right. We're going to play, uh, now we're going to play a game with Martha after this. Martha has a fascinating life, so we thought it would be fun to play a game we're calling Where's the Lie, Martha? It's like two truths and a lie. You're gonna read three facts about yourself and I have to find the lie. Okay. All right, let um, me hear them. Number one, I've been, uh, I've been struck by lightning three times. All righty. Oh, and you don't say, you don't say. No, it I have to hear all of them first. Oh, okay. I am going to be a shark on the next season of Shark Tank. I did a headstand on the Ellen DeGeneres show. All right, and it's just one truth? One lie. One lie. One lie. Two truths? Two truths, one lie. Oh, well, for sure, I think you're going to be a shark. That does make sense. I think you'll, you'll be on Shark Tank. Um, and uh, I don't think you've been struck by lightning three times. I think that sounds... But I don't think you've done a headstand on my show either. <laughs> I'm going to guess that you uh, have done uh, a headstand, and I think you've been struck by lightning three times. Yep. Well, <laughs> because <laughs> I cannot believe that. You've been struck by lightning three times? Yeah, I, I mean, it's like crazy. I, I, think it, I think it actually is good for you. <laughs> if, if it doesn't kill you, I think it's good for you. Well, yeah, of course, if it doesn't kill you. Like, what, did you, what does it feel like? I mean, horrible. One, once it, it came out of my water faucet, I was leaning against an iron sink, and I saw the lightning go down the, down the pipe, down, out in my garden, and then it came back, back up through the water and hit me right in my stomach, threw me on the floor, and my husband found me, and uh, I was alive, but not, not, not very comfortable. Another time, a lightning bolt came right through a skylight in my house. I just attract electricity. I'm, I'm yeah, a, I'm, you're so powerful. Oh, I am. You're I'm like so powerful. Uh, yes. <laughs> all right. So you're not going to be a shark on the next. Uh, no, I, no. I was, I was asked, but I don't want to come to live wait, in California. Wait, wait. This is you doing a headstand. Yeah, there I am. See. Wow. No wonder you look so good. You're, look, that's amazing. That's, that's Can't a, you do a headstand? Not at all. Oh, yes, you can. No, I really can't. Oh, I, I, I do yoga, but I don't do that. Okay, okay. throw another one at me, Martha. Okay, oh, this one. <clears throat> I dated Sir Anthony Hopkins, but broke up with him because I couldn't stop thinking of him as Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I was asked to host Saturday Night Live, and my business, biggest regret 
is saying no. I have a tattoo of my dog, creme brulee, on my foot. Well, I know you have a dog named creme brulee, for sure. Seems like you would have a tattoo. <laughs> I'm gonna say two and three are the truths. But, Am I right? But Anthony Hopkins? I don't think, th I think that you would date him, but I don't think you'd stop dating him because you couldn't st stop thinking of him as Hannibal Lecter. I have a big scary house in Maine that's <laughs> way by itself on 100 acres in the forest. and. I couldn't even imagine taking Anthony Hopkins there. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, because yeah. all I could think of was him eating, you know. Right. Wait, did you date him? Yeah. And you stopped because of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you, uh, and wait, that's a lie that you don't have a tattoo of creme brulee? I have no tattoos. I wouldn't think of having a tattoo. Yeah. I wouldn't either, but I just thought, you know, you're tough. That's not, it's not about being tough. I, it's about, you know, growing old with tattoos that get stretched out and ugly. Yeah, but on you, uh, that's safe. You don't want anything here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you don't want anything on your back or your arms. That... I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not yeah. let I, other people get tattooed. Yeah, I agree. All right.